In this question, we're being asked for the lowest sample rate. So we're being asked for the Nyquist rate. And we're given a signal x of t that's a product of a cosine and a sine. So when you have a cosine multiplied by a sine, you'll end up with two terms. You'll end up with a, a sum term and a difference term. Because we're interested in the Nyquist rate, we're interested in the highest frequency component, which will come from the sum term. So your um, resulting frequency, let's call it omega m, will be the sum of the 2000 pi plus the 4000 pi. So that's 6000 pi. So therefore, the frequency is that divided by 2 pi, so that's 3,000 hertz. So the Nyquist rate will be twice that. So the Nyquist rate will be 2 times 3,006 kilohertz. Now, it says the lowest rate possible that will enable perfect reconstruction. That's slightly misleading because the rate has to be greater than six kilohertz. It can't be exactly six kilohertz. But the, um, the Nyquist rate is nevertheless six kilohertz.